Hey guys, so do you like my new hat? I got this from H&M. It's got the tag on here <laughs> and I've still left it on because I'm just not 100% sure. I think I really like it, but then at the same time I'm like, does it look good? Does it sue me? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this, this footage back, this footage back, and I'm gonna watch this footage back and I'm gonna see what I think that looks like on camera. Um, because sometimes it's easier. When I watch myself back, I look at things and I'm like, oh, actually that looks all right. So, or I think, oh no, that doesn't look good. <laughs> so, um, but I really like it actually. I got it in H&M, it was 17.99, but if you spent over 40 pounds, then you got 10% off. So I got it like for 15 pounds. It's got like a band and then it's got gold detailing, gold metal work just there. Can you guys see that? Hopefully you can see that. I've twisted it enough that you can see it. So I actually, I think I like it. I think it's quite a nice, it's quite chic. So I can I can kind of picture it with like a nice long coat um, and maybe like a chunky scarf. I know it's kind of not going to be winter now, but I think it's wearable in spring as well. I have to leave my hair down though if I'm going to wear it because I can't put my hair up otherwise the hat won't fit. So um, yeah, um, I've just uh, put like my cosy Ralph Lauren um, sweater on because um, I did have like my bright red one on but I was getting a bit too hot so I wanted to show you a couple of bits I'll just leave my hat on while I do the next few bits because I'm quite liking it I'm quite feeling the hat anyway I just want to show you a couple more bits that I bought um, as well one thing is from H&M now if you watch my diary entry number five six seven I'm not sure I'm losing count which one it was but I had a pair of H&M long black trousers or cropped black flared trousers on now that was a size 10 and they were a bit too tight on me so i bought them in a 12 um i'm probably not going to try these on in this video but it's the thumbnail of one of my previous videos so if you want to see what the fit is like look back now these were 27.99 now i think they look a bit more realistic actually in the fit why is the zip undone that's kind of weird they look a bit more realistic because they're quite high-waisted the other ones were just they look like this and i was like yeah they're not gonna fit me i can always tell actually if they're gonna fit or not they fit as in i could do the zip up and button them i wore them really high-waisted but they were so tight i couldn't breathe i couldn't sit down i couldn't do anything in them and and that's just no good because i would be wearing them to work where i'm moving around you know i'd be all over the place i'd have to sit down stand up um so they wouldn't work but I actually really like the design of them and the cut of them. Now the next few bits I bought in Body Shop. So I picked up this Vitamin C Microdermabrasion um, Scrub. I love this stuff. I love the Nip Fab Scrub. You guys know that. That's like an, a fave, fave, fave. This stuff is on par. I love it. But it's just really expensive so I don't normally get it. This is £18. But with 40% 40, 40 off, I think I got it for like £11, something like that. Um, so yeah, I mean that's a bit more affordable. I should have picked up like two or three, but I just got one because I was like, I've got quite a few of the Nip Fab ones on the go, so I just picked up the one. The second thing I picked up is something I've never tried before. It's the Nourishing Dry Oil for Body and Hair. Now I'm all about dry oils for my skin because it gets so dry in the winter. Um, and again, this was about £18, so only a small bottle. You only get 100 milliliters. It's quite a small bottle, but again, I got the 40% off, so I thought I'd try it. Um, let's have a look if I can try a little bit now. Yeah, it's really nice. It smells really nice too. The final thing I picked up from Body Shop is this uh, makeup brush, which is like a pointed kind of, it's called the pointer brush, I think. Um, I just really like the look of it. I just thought, actually, this is the kind of brush I don't actually have. And I thought it'd be quite nice to like put, you know, maybe concealer or foundation. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to use it, but I just really like the pointiness of it. Um, I think this was about £11 again with 40% off, so about £6. So my order altogether came to about £26, which I think is pretty good. So guys, I just wanted to tell you a quick story of something that happened to me um, yesterday. When I woke up, I checked my bank balance and actually I had some fraud on my card. And I was like, oh my god, that is so annoying. Someone had taken £58 off my um, direct debit on my debit card. And I was really like spooked because obviously if someone steals your identity or uses your bank card it's actually you know slightly worrying so i was like called the bank up immediately who um were really helpful it was hsbc and they refunded my payment immediately um and then obviously they said they'd investigate so 
they were really great really helpful which so then I just thought to myself that's weird I wonder how that happened and I didn't really think and think more of it I cancelled my card and I kind of moved on with my day later that day so yesterday um, I was talking to my colleague at work and I said to her oh it's been a bit of a, a shit morning I actually had to phone the bank up and sort out this fraud and she said to me oh that's strange because I also had fraud on my card this morning and I was like what that's so weird and then I told her the name of the company that had done the fraud, which was called Barnet Star, and she was like, no way, it's the same company that did fraud on my card. And we were just, I was like, my jaw dropped. And I was like, how can we both have fraud on our card from the same company? And so we started like tracing our steps back, thinking, you know, is there, is there anyone in our office? Is there anyone we both know that could have had access to our bank cards? What could it be? Then we realized about two or three weeks ago, um, we, her and I went to a local Turkish restaurant for food and we both paid on those cards. So at some point, either there or at some point while we were together, someone has cloned our cards and and actually gone ahead and used them and done, and you know, used them illegally and done some fraud on our cards so like guys just be careful i just wanted to kind of bring it up with you um please be careful when using your cards obviously that was just so bizarre because i'm quite a conscious person of things like that and when that happened i was just like spooked but you know um, always keep your card on you obviously be aware when you are making payment if you're doing touch or or whatever. I mean, in that incident, I don't know how it happened. I really, really don't, but always be vigilant. And I think I am quite a vigilant person. And for me to be caught out like this, I'm pretty surprised and I'm really, really annoyed. Um, so we've both um, put in a police complaint and hopefully they're gonna investigate the fraud because it's really important that it doesn't happen to other people. Now we both have our money back and you know, we're all, you know, we're fine, but that's not the point. Like I do not want this to happen to anyone else because some people may not even notice that they've, you know, money's been taken off their card. And I would actually hate that to them to think that they've got away with it. Like I always hate it in scenarios where evil prospers over good. Like I'm a hard working person. I earn my money. I work really hard for it, you know, and for someone to just take it out of my bank account like that without my permission and think they can get away with it, well, that really makes my blood boil. I was fuming yesterday. I was absolutely, I didn't even film all day because I just wasn't in the right frame of mind because I was like, actually, I'm so angry that I can't even talk to the camera because I think it would come across my negative energy and I was just fuming. So, but I just wanted to share that story with you just so you guys are, you know, just to make you aware of these things that do happen and obviously, if it happens to you, immediately call, immediately call your bank um, and also obviously cancel your card because you just don't want any more money being taken off it or anything like that. So I'm gonna start packing because myself and Ash are going to Loughborough where my parents live. We're going to my hometown where my parents are and then we are going to my cousin's wedding reception in Coventry, uh, which would be exciting. I've got all my Indian clothes down here in a bag and I've got my sparkly little shoes ready to go i wanted to show you guys my um carpet bag that i got in forever 21 about two years ago now i absolutely love it whenever i travel to my parents house or just anywhere like for the weekend i always take it because it's so big like look at this and look at the color it's gorgeous it's like a blue oh i just love this bag it's so good it's like it's almost like it's like an authentic bag from morocco i just wanted to show you, show you that show you guys that bag um i'll leave it there for now i've been rambling too much um as always i have to cut these down so much because i end up talking for so long and and babbling on and i think no this is gonna be too long so anyway i will speak to you guys soon Mwah! bye <laughs>